PETA has obtained disturbing video footage showing cats used in an archaic medical training exercise. This drill, conducted at Washington University in St. Louis, in conjunction with St. Louis Children's Hospital, is completely unnecessary. During Washington University's Pediatric Advanced Life Support course, also known as PALS, unskilled trainees repeatedly shove hard plastic tubes down the throats of two cats named Elliot and Jesse. This is a crude attempt to learn how to intubate human babies. Some of the trainees struggle for several minutes. Repeated unsuccessful attempts can seriously injure the vulnerable cats. Don't run. Don't run. Studies show that intubating animals more than five times in one session can cause them severe pain and trauma. Yet Washington University subjects each cat to as many as 15 intubations during each session. So you just use them for uh, about three years, and we use them for about four times a year. Oh, just four times a year? Okay. Okay. Yeah, they only, they're only four times a year. We intubate them um, less than 15 times per, per, per lab. The cats are supposed to be anesthetized, but trainees say that some cats started to wake up in the middle of the frightening and painful procedure. We had to give Jesse more ketamine because I was messing with him so much. You should have prepped Jesse. He was on me. The American Heart Association, which sponsors the PALS training course, opposes animal use in the program. In a recent statement to PETA, an AHA official explained, quote, we do not endorse or require the use of animals during the AHA PALS training because of advances in availability of simulation mannequins. These mannequins provide the opportunity to practice all the necessary skills required for successful completion of an AHA PALS course, end quote. Yet Washington University's veterinarian misleads trainees by claiming that the AHA opposes the use of cats only because it is expensive. And the American Heart Association came out and said we don't need to use cats for PALS because it's way too expensive for every PALS course in the whole country to have a cat lab. So American Heart can't, can't support it that way. That's why. Research shows that teaching intubation on infant simulators is more effective than on cats. Of more than 1,000 PALS training facilities in the country, Washington University is the only one PETA knows of that is still abusing cats. Help us improve medical training and end this cruelty by visiting PETA.org slash St. Louis Cats.